Welcome to Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Today, no, no, I got my pajamas on, but I, I swear I'm not going to Walmart. All right. But anyway, today I want to show you how to make an easy, and I mean easy, apple pie. Stay tuned. I think you're going to like it. All right, let's get started. Got my flour here. Uh, we're going to be using grand biscuits now if you want to make your own dough out of biscuit dough whatever you can i ain't saying you can't but we're i'm simple we want to do simple so we're using the grand biscuits this has also got little flakes of butter in them which is even better i went ahead and preset my oven at 350 degrees go ahead and warm it up now sorry about that you want apple pie filling. Now, I dry apples. I like to make stuff out of dry apples. But like I said, this is easy. And plus, it's on, on a rainy day, snowy day. You know, one of those days that you really just don't want to cook a lot. But you can also use, you know, you know your kids. They work with them. Uh, we're going to use this. Let if I can open it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, let's shut that off to the side. We'll see if we can put this in here. It's a coon, don't worry. It'll be here shortly. Look at there. I just want to throw away this can. But what you want to do, because these are going to be big, just go ahead and take a knife, start cutting some of them in half. Folks, I'm using a butter knife because I am not a professional. Get it? Get it now. You just don't want those big chunks in there. Okay, that's good for now. I'll just go ahead and do that. Now, what you want to do also is uh, I got cinnamon sugar, and usually cinnamon sugar is like two to one ratio. So, if you got to want to cut the sugar, then a half a half a cup of uh, or a quarter cup of cinnamon, mix it together. Mm. I need a couple more of these, so just in case. Oh yeah, one more thing. You'll need a clucker. We'll put that there for right now. Let's get started. I think we're about ready on everything that we need. I don't know if anybody can see Scout. He's in here supervising, as always. That's all you gotta do. Look at that. set these right here now I'm using Martha white flour it's the flour what you want to do you get me a get you a biscuit fluff some of that out and you know just spread it around Get you a rolling pin. Of course, I like to 
throw a little bit on it. Then just start moving these out. Now you want to make it thin and you want to make it big. See that right there looks pretty doggone good. Then you want to take some of your feeling, feelings, whoa, 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 feelings. I have a little bit too much. sugar. Now you can put this on it before you put your uh, apples on or you can wait till after you put your apples on. See what let's do. Let's crack us an egg. Even though they say you ain't supposed to do that. I do. Beat that bad boy. Hold on, Skip. Now, what you want to do, now, a lot of people do this after the fact. I'm going to. still see that. We're going to go around the edges. So you just go around the edge. Then we're going to fold it. And what the egg is doing Is making a seal, and I'm gonna take a knife. I mean a fork. Now, if you wanted to fry these things, you could. I ain't saying you can't, because up chances are the next time I probably will. See, look at there. Look at there. Now, what you want to do? Like I said, I already got the oven preheating 350. We're gonna get some non-stick. We're gonna spray it. Then we're gonna put our pie right top. Then I'm just gonna take some of this egg white on top and brush it on. Or this egg wash, egg whatever. You know what I'm saying. You follow what I'm saying. Okay. We'll do one more. And then I'll do the rest and I'll come back to you. But once again, take a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Start rolling it out. Hey now. Hey now. You're an all star. It don't have to be perfect. Just roll it. 
it out, get it thin. Oh, what's that? Okay, I'll answer that question. Let's just say that you only want one or two, but you got all of these right here. You could make these up, put them in a freezer bag, wrap them up in aluminum foil, put them in a freezer bag, whatever. Put them in your freezer, then you can take them out and cook them when you need them. Or you can make them all up, then you can get your food saver, you know, vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer, and then when you want them, you can take them out. Either or. Don't waste. Alright, now this right here is what we're going to do. This time, we're going to lay down some cinnamon sugar. We're going to get us some apples. up for my rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling. See, looky here. You might think I'm almost professional. I only act like one on TV. Alright, let's fold this bad boy. Once again, you might have to push in a little bit on these. You never know. Get in now. Then we'll take her for and full mash down on them. Give it that good seal. Then we'll put a little egg wash on top for good measure. It also has to brown. Then we'll pick this one up. Oh, here we go. Right there you are. So, let me finish these out, and I'll come right back to you. Okay, I finished them up. I also put a little bit of slits in the top. The reason I done that because I'm putting them in the oven. Now, if we, you know, if I want to fry them up in a iron, uh, cast iron skillet, I wouldn't do that. So we're going to put them in here till they're golden brown, whatever the biscuits uh, go for, like 12, 13 minutes, whatever. But we'll watch them, and uh, we'll be right. We'll be right back. So, there you have it. We'll get one of these out. When you take them out, just let them cool for a minute or two. Now, this is where I say, if you want to, you can have put uh, powdered sugar on top. If you want to make up an icing to drizzle it, you can do that too. But, let's... Uh, just cut into it. Look at there. See that? I hope you can see that. My hand's shaky a little bit, but hey. Let's try her out.
Tell you what, just to be accurate, let's try it again. Oh yeah, apple, cinnamon, sugar. If it had a glaze, it'd be better, probably. Uh, now, but uh, you just don't have to use apples. You can do blackberry pie filling, cherry pie filling, peaches, uh, kiwi. If you want to do kiwi, you can do that. Just make it your own. Like I said, this is a nice, simple, easy little recipe that you can do it with your kids. Matter of fact, while I was putting these together, I was thinking, you can make an assembly line. Somebody rolls it out, passes it to the next person, they can put all the fillings and stuff in, pass it to the next person, then they can flip it over and do whatever. But, this is Jeff for Tennessee Buck Outdoors. I'm going to put on the old feed bag. Remember, subscribe. Hit the like, ring the bell, do a little dance, tell all your friends, have them to uh, subscribe also, that would help me out, and uh, we'll see you later.